Welcome back into the show. Summer is a great time to shake things up in the dating life and find new opportunities to meet people. But what if you want that summer romance to last into fall? Joining us now is local professional matchmaker Kelly Numair from It's Just Lunch San Francisco to explain. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us today oh, on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. So summertime, when you think summertime, you think it's a great time to meet new people. But why? Why summer? It's the summer. You know, the days are longer, the nights are shorter. There is so many events in the Bay Area that we can do. Mm -hmm. And it just gives an opportunity for singles to really get themselves out there, put themselves out there, have fun and meet some new people. I'm actually telling all of my clients right now, it's just lunch, to take full advantage of the summer, especially after two summers of lockdown. Yes. Right. Oh my gosh. Two summers and two summers of lockdown. Now we're back out here. Perfect opportunity. Right. And I, in 20 years of me doing this, I have never seen so many success stories and love connections. People are so ready yeah. to find love. Yeah, and love is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, and you get to do Very this. privileged. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, get, I get to be the advocate of love. That is so yes. awesome. Well, you, you mentioned single people. Now, yes. what are some specific piece of pieces of advice that you have for singles who are looking to get back into the dating world this summer? There are three main things, and then I'll break them down for you. First thing is throw away any negative thoughts. And the second one is, you know, really know what your routine is. Redo your routine, re-look at that, and then dust off your date chatter. So let's go back to the first one. So if you have that thought process that you are never going to meet anybody, that you're never going to find the right one, that it's really hard to meet people, then thoughts become things and that's what you're putting out to the universe. So you really, really have to have that positive mindset mm -hmm. that the person for me is out there, that I'm going to meet them and then get into action and go do it right and then the other thing is feel really good about yourself when you feel really good about yourself then you become confident and confidence is sexy so go to the salon get yourself to a spa day go on a shopping spree and really take good care of yourself the second thing is redo your routine right if you're a creature of habit and you're doing the same thing over and over and over again and you expect a different result then that's insane Sanity, right? It is insanity. So <laughs> you have to get outside your comfort zone and you have to go visit new places, go meet new people. You know, it is so amazing how many times I tell my clients, get out there. This needs to be your summer of yes. And when this is your summer of yes and you're getting your saying yes to all the invitations and all the events, you're going to be so surprised how many people walk into your life. And then the last thing is dust off your date chatter. If you're feeling like you're going out on dates and they're stale and they're becoming more of a job interview mm -hmm. than a fun date, then it's time to redo the conversation. So you really want to, date number one is to determine if you like this person's company enough to go out on date number two, that's it. Keep it fun, keep it light, talk about hobbies, interests, passions, and bring your sense of humor to the date. A date does not have to be so serious. It doesn't. And I think no. oftentimes we as humans overthink this part of the process. We do. You know? And we put too much pressure on ourselves. Yes, way too much not pressure. Not necessarily. Have fun. Yes. Right? When you're fun and you're meeting the right people, the right person will walk into your life. I'm a firm believer in that too. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in that too. Now, specifically speaking about it's just lunch, yes. uh, how does this process work and maybe how can other people get involved if they're curious? So it's just lunch is very different from online dating apps. You know, we 
have our clients, they're pre-screened, they're hand-selected, and we're doing that whole face-to-face -face thing, right? I tell my clients all the time that you should never judge a book by its cover, and when you're doing the d online dating apps, you're swiping and you don't really get to know someone, mm -hmm. whereas It's Just Lunch, we're really matching our clients very carefully, getting to know them, and getting them out on real one-on-one -on -one dates where they're finding real connections with emotionally available and ready like-minded singles. And being emotionally available is huge because if you're not Key. emotionally available, there, it's, it's not going to work. Timing is everything. Yes. And you have to be emotionally available and ready for a relationship to walk into your life. Well, if, if you're interested in somebody, would you recommend bringing staying with somebody past the summer if, it, if, if they find that connection? Absolutely. Summer romances can be fresh and fun. And if you're enjoying yourself, you want that to sustain. So get creative with ideas. You know, find out what your person really likes and maybe organize a fun date. Take a cool trip down Highway 1. You know, again, we're so spoiled for choice by just living in the Bay Area that you're never going to run out of fun, creative ideas to keep that going and to fall and have fun with it. There's right? so many date night opportunities so in the many Bay Area. Date, so <laughs> many date opportunities. Yes, we're very spoiled. Now, if, if somebody is ready to take it serious, they should have that conversation with, with their partner, correct? One million percent. Never be afraid to have that conversation. It is better to know than not know. And, you know, it can be scary to bring that up. However, maybe on one of your fun dates, can I casually bring it up and say, hey, you know what? I'm really having fun. Like, I would really like to see where this goes from here. Your answer is going to tell you everything that you need to know about moving forward. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for joining us here on the show. We appreciate your time and giving us some insight on how to date well to make it last. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course.